At around lunchtime today, an altercation involving at least two students happened at the Ukudu High School, prompting school resource officers from the Guam Department of Education and members of the Guam Police Department to respond, according to a statement from GDOE spokesperson Isa Baza. Today's riot at Ukudu marks the third time an event like this has happened within the last month. On September 13th, John F. Kennedy High School initiated a lockdown in response to a riot, which involved several students engaging in fights inside their campus cafeteria. And less than a week later, on September 17th, seven students were injured during an altercation at Tizan High School. GDOE school resource officers, as well as members of GPD, were alerted of and responded to the incident. Following those two events, 13 students involved in the riots were expelled from GDOE, and several more were recommended for expulsion. And while there were not riots, brass knuckles were found at the Tizan High School on September 26 during a campus-wide search, and a shelter-in-place procedure was commenced at the George Washington High School on October 1st to address a concerning social media post. The post implied that a student possessed a firearm, but after a school-wide search, a toy gun was found and three male students were taken into custody by GPD. As with all of these events, those involved with today's riot at Ukudu High School may be dealt with in accordance with GDOE's rules and regulations. Reporting for the Pacific News Center, I'm Amanda Dedicatoria.